fourth winter of the Great Waterway Classic, an event on the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada will be declared here on August 30th, the 18th hole at the Loyalist Golf and Country Club. Among those competing for the tournament will be Andrew Jensen of Ottawa, who has a compelling story as he is a sponsor's exemption for the 2015 Great Waterway Classic. Uh, it's, it's a huge honor, obviously, uh, like we said earlier, there's 70 plus people that asked for a spot in the tournament. Uh, to be one of the six that's selected, that's, that's incredible. Um, the six of us that have been selected, it's a pretty nice group of guys, good talented guys and all great players that I know quite well. So um, it's awesome to be included with that. And I think we're all going to be competitive. We're not just coming here to kind of show and, and be something that adds value to the golf tournament. We want to we want to compete, so it's a huge honor. And you've got a little bit of an extra affiliation with the CJGA, who's the tournament operator. Yeah. Why don't you uh, talk to us a little bit about that, and what you've been doing with them this year? So yeah, this year with the CJGA, we uh, we partnered. This, we, we dreamt this up arguably early 2014, but just didn't know how to figure out a way to do it. Um, but the pieces started to fall into place last fall. Um, so we've done, we've launched something called Andrew's Long Drive, uh, comparable to Clara's Big Ride last year. Um, traveling across the country to various CJGA golf tournaments, um, giving clinics, but also sharing my story uh, with the junior golfers. And, uh, you know, trying to offer some, some hope, some help, um, some, some feedback, some inspiration if they want to play professional golf, but also let them know what it's like uh, as a golfer, the difficulties that I've dealt with and um, ultimately the difficulties I dealt with when I was their age as a teenager and um, people are starting to become more familiar with my story. Uh, so it's, the statistics don't lie. Of the kids I'm talking to, there's, there are a handful of them that have probably struggled just like I have and, and still do. So it's pretty great that the CJGA is, is taking on this initiative and they're, they're not afraid to talk about mental health to teenagers and like that is, I'm, I'm completely taken aback that they, they want to do that with me and that they're allowing me this platform and, and the feedback and the response has been incredible from parents and kids all summer. And how's your game now? Obviously, you know, you're going to be here, you're going to be yeah. able to uh, share your message, but you, your primary thing is to be here as a golfer and yeah, to be here absolutely. as a professional. And uh, how's your game? What conditions is it in and uh, how do you expect to compete? Uh, my game's in good shape. Uh, I think when I last played in this tournament in 2013, it was one of the first times where I was being very vocal about my past and that kind of made it difficult to compete. And I've had to learn a way to kind of balance discussing my past and discussing, you know, my, my struggles and my story, but all still playing golf and I've figured that out. And uh, now it's very easy for me to focus very specifically on my game when it comes time. and. Um, I've been playing well for the for the most part of the year. I just haven't been competing very much. My schedule has been kind of taken over by speaking. Um, I've been able to afford to live but not compete recently. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity. This is this is huge. This week and, and the event in Ottawa are two weeks to potentially change the rest of the season. So I'm not coming in here just uh, trying to be a good story and almost like a charitable sponsor's exemption. I want to compete. I want to play all four days. And uh, yeah, I just want to feel those uh, those feelings on Sunday because I've been close a few times already this year and I'm, I'm ready to do it at a, at a bigger stage.